Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my fiance Aaron, and we are going to be trying some Japanese candy. This video is not sponsored, this is just purely for fun, so let's get into it. <laughs> I'm going to open the box. Yourself. Watch out, I might cut you. <laughs> okay, maybe you should open the box. All right. It looks so fun. All right, it got cloudy outside, so I put a light, so we might look a little bit brighter. But anyways, so this thing has all the candies in it that we're gonna go through, and this is the Slice of Summer Collection. So, this is what the inside of the box looks like, and let's get started. First, in our Japan candy box, we have, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Kasugai. Looks like that one. What's it called? Salted Konopito Sugar Candy. Okay, so first we have this Sugar candy. Confito. Something something along those lines. It looks... It's a it, sugar candy that's been around since the 16th century. There's three flavors. <clears throat> salt lemon, salt, and salt plum. Just straight up salt? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, salt. My favorite <laughs> type of candy. Just straight up salt. Okay. <laughs> the lemon looks good. I'm gonna... Here's what it looks like again. So, Give me one of them salts. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh, it's like kind of. It's squishy. Mhm. Mm <laughs> yeah. Woo! You know what? It's not that bad. Try the lemon one. The lemon one is very lemony. Kind of tastes like a rock candy. Oh yeah. That's exactly what it tastes like. Rock candy. Ooh, I don't like the pink one. Well, it is plum. <clears throat> Ooh, <laughs> I need to drink a little bit of water. <laughs> so is that a yes or a no for you? You know, I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't, I don't usually buy candy though. Yeah, so. I don't think I'd willingly buy this, but I mean, it's not bad, it's just a little it's not as salty as I thought it would be. It's like tart. Yeah, it's kind of tart. Yeah. I'd say basically rock candy. Corn is next. That is called whatever that says. Pushito grape candy. Pushito grape candy, yep. Um, I like grape. It looks pretty. Okay. They're bunched together like real grapes. All right, let's open it. Uh, and you can pull them apart, it says. Are you supposed to pull them apart? Do you swallow it? Uh, Is it like bubble gum or do you swallow it? Oh uh, yeah, you can pull them apart like real grapes. Do you mm -hmm. swallow it? Mm-hmm. It literally tastes like bubble gum. Yeah, you, you swallow it. I think. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, it tastes and kind of has the consistency of bubble gum. Yeah, it does. But it's not. But it doesn't stay like bubble gum. It, yeah. So it's probably safe to swallow. This one's pretty good. I like this one. Yeah. yeah. It almost has a medicine taste. Mm. <laughs> I could see that. All right, next I have. I don't know what this is. <laughs> hey, look, that is. Which is sour soda? Oh, sour. Question mark, exclamation point, gum. <laughs> so this is gum. One of these soda flavored gum pieces is actually super sour. One of them? Gather your friends and see who gets the sour one. Oh gosh. They, any okay. of them, it's like a Russian roulette of candy. I'm just gonna take the first one. So this is gum, don't swallow it. I'll take this. One. I didn't get it. I don't think this is sour. This is really good gum. 
Is it kind of sour? Yeah, kind of, but it says yeah. one of them's like super sour. Yeah, this one's not too bad. So one of these is the super sour one. This is a yes for me. You want to see who gets the sour one? Maybe at the end. I don't know, I kind of want to save it. Okay. I like this gum. We should have to save the gum for the end, because like now I want to chew it. Ooh, these look like cheese puffs. Well, they're not cheese. I think they're is they this pickle. Are... Bino Lightly Salted Pea Snacks. Oh, they're pea. Peas. Oh, they're pea flavored. I don't know about that, but they look like pea puffs. They're like, That's pea, really they're like pea pods. Pea pod puffs. That's what they look like. They're made of soybeans and baked, baked to crispy perfection. Oh, it's not bad. Is that really a candy? It's more of like a... Yeah, I, these are candy and snack mixes. More of like That's a veggie straw like. thing almost. Tastes like corn puffs. That's exactly what they taste like, corn mm. puffs. I can dig it. Definitely not something amazing. Kind of bland. Yeah. It's alright. Tastes like a bland breakfast cereal. Noodle snacks. Mm. Next we have this one. It's popular Japanese street food. <laughs> Dried noodles and rice. Oh, okay. You have to like pour it. Oh boy. Like this. It's like a like trail mix or something. really good. Yeah, you know, that's pretty. That's pretty. Oh, pretty good. this is my favorite one so far. Very savory. Very good. Oh, I'm having a little bit more of that. Mm -hmm. Don't pass that over here. Yeah, <laughs> it is like, I guess, Japanese trail mix kind of. That's, a, yeah, that is what it is. That's what it is. That's a good description. Tastes very good. Oh, that's good. I really like the packaging that one on is all these. Um, umoi bo. Takayaki puff stick. It's a puff stick. Oh, it's like a one stick. We can split it, but like it's one stick. It's a puff stick. And look at the packaging on these. It's so cute. It's a. It's a puff stick. It's also a well loved Japanese street food. Oh my god. Filled with minced octopus and fried in pancake batter. Into it looks balls. so weird. It has octopus in it, so. It's just a straight up stick. Okay. All right. Wait, are we gonna like split it or are you just gonna bite it? I'm just gonna right. bite it. I don't see any octopus in there. I like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. We're getting married. We share. I don't care. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it too. It almost looks like a, uh, like a mozzarella stick. Mm-hmm. 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 We're finishing that one off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is Baskin Robbins. What? We have that in the States. Oh, yeah. Popping shower chocolate. Baskin Robbins ice cream is super popular in Japan. Free, hmm. Freeze these tasty white chocolate bites so you can enjoy sweet ice cream flavor together with a crack loaf. Oh, oh, you should freeze those. Oh, shoot. Go freeze those. All right. Okay. So I went and I put those Baskin Robin ice cream things in the freezer. So next we're going to move on to these Nori potato chips. Oh, yeah. That's what it is, right? Yep. Launched in Japan in 1987. Nice. And it's got a cute little, oh, it's got a cute little cow on it. It's cute. Oh, it has wasabi in it. Wasabi. I like wasabi. All right. That's a, that's a big bag of chips. And that they, is a big bag. And they like, still, uh, they do uh, the whole Lay's thing where they put mostly air. Mostly air in it. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. There's like nothing in there. But since the bag's so big, that's a pretty full bag of normal chips. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. Ooh. Wasabi. 
That clears your sinuses. I like that. Wasabi chips. Woo! Uh huh. We'll try another one, but I don't know. That might be a no for me. Might That's be a, a yes, yes for, for me. you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm into that spicy stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all you, babe. Yeah. Woo! I like that. Oh yeah. That this is, is koala no mart shortcake biscuits. Shortcake biscuits. So cute. Koala March is one of the most famous Japanese snacks and it's loved all over the world. Hmm. I've never seen them. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen these you before You can either. briefly freeze them. What the heck is all this freezing? Okay, so I guess we'll move on to the bubble gum while those two snacks are freezing. This one is the pineapple one. What is this one called? Oh, I mean my book. <laughs> Let's see. Marakawa pineapple gum. Okay, so it's just pineapple gum. Pine Japanese pineapples are in season during the summer. All right, we should split this. It's so weird that their gum is just really long. I don't know. We don't do that in America. We're gonna split this. Yeah, we'll just so we can save some of it. Whoa. Oh, wow. That reminds me of uh, ice cubes, the gum. Mm. Does it? Mm-hmm. This is kind of like a cooling sensation. Yeah. I like it. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely saving this piece. I just think it's so weird how they put their gum mm -hmm. in the packaging. So far, my favorites have been this one, this one. I think this one was my absolute favorite. That one's very good. So good. The Japanese trail mix, basically. Yeah. I like that Soba one. The stick. Snacks. What is the stick called again? Um, this one, it, well, we ate it all. Yeah, we ate it all, but this one was so good, too. Um, umaibo takoyaki. Umaibo takoyaki puff stick. stick. Yeah. The puff stick was good. Okay, so I'd say my favorites were the Japanese trail mix, the puff stick, the pineapple bubble gum, and the sour bubble gum. Really, the sour bubble gum? Well, yeah, because the one I got wasn't that sour. Well, we haven't uh, tried the I last know, two scared. yet. I'm scared. But <laughs> yeah, I'd say this was definitely one of my favorites. Um, you like the chips. I like the chips a lot. The chips are good. Um, they're wasabi flavored. That's really good. Um, they smell really good. It's just, it's just a lot of wasabi. And me. that stick, the octopus stick. The puff stick. The puff stick. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're back. We put these in the freezer so they are cold. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and open them. And have Baskin Robbins warm. I know. Yes. They're little chocolates. Oh boy. It tastes weird. Mm. What flavor is this? I don't know. It's like a mixture between white and milk and peppermint, maybe? Those are a little weird. It's chocolate, but with soda candy in it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Right. Mm. Mm. I don't think I really like it that much. And then what was that one again? Oh, that one is the um, koala one. Koala. They're strawberry and whipped cream. I don't know if you'll like it. He doesn't like strawberry. We'll give it a try. This hard, I'm telling you. Alright. Here we go, here we go. What is that? Oh. <gasps> it's got a koala. Just a little koala on it. Try it out. Cheers. That's a weird. 
Not terrible. I can taste the strawberry. Not bad. I have never had anything like this before. Not bad at all. Hmm. That's not bad. I like that one. Yeah. I don't really like the Baskin Robin ones, but I like the koala. It's good. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, you want to end this off with the Japanese roulette? <laughs> All right, we are going to see which one of us gets the sour one. All right, which one did you think was sour? I think it's this one. You think it? He thinks it's this one. All right, you grab it. You take it. Why, um, why do I have to take the yeah. one that I think is sour? <laughs> All right. Oh no, it's mine! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! This is that bad? Mm hmm. Mm. This is funny. <laughs> it was mine. Well, I guess that well, makes me the winner. I lost to Japanese roulette. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for this Japanese candy and snack box. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We did. If you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye. We'll see you next time.